Hey guys, so today is Monday. Today is the first day of finals. I don't have a final today. I have regular classes. Finals don't start till Wednesday, but my studying, my organizing, basically getting ready for finals starts today. I should have started yesterday, but yesterday it was Mother's Day, so I spend time with my mom and I didn't have time to do that. I'm really glad I did though because I was so overwhelmed with school and I really need to focus on spending time with the people that I love too, not just school. And I'm pretty sure that if I just give it my all these next few days i am going to get a good grade so today i have a lot of things to do so yeah i'm gonna vlog this week and i'm gonna bring you guys along my finals week i'm a little bit nervous i don't know if i'm gonna be able to vlog that much but i hopefully will I'm back in my dorm. I forgot to vlog while I was in class and going over there. I was just so focused on getting things done, but now I'm back. I am working on math. So as you can see, I have my calculator, my Celsius string, because it's been a really tough day. I'm on my period, so finals and my period don't go well together. I have a meeting at five. I haven't eaten anything since the morning, so I'll probably eat in a little bit. I just came back from having a really good conversation with one of my good friends and filling out a form because we are living together next semester. I had a little bit of dinner and now I am still working on math. I want to get this review done for today and practice, 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 do my cheat sheet because they give us a cheat sheet. I don't feel ready for this exam at all. I'm kind of overwhelmed by it because it's a lot of information, but I know if I work hard enough, I can and get through it and later I have to practice for a presentation that I have tomorrow which I'm super nervous about. So I did my cheat sheet. This is what I have so far. So they gave us a full page. There's a lot to put in but I really wish that they would give us like front and back because it's just front. Guys look at the amount of paper that I used to study. These here are at least 100 pages. This is for my urban class and then I literally just printed these for my geo class. I've been studying a lot. I've been just like organizing my life. I'm so anxious. I'm so freaking nervous. My back is hurting so bad. I had a meeting with my Professor. I still have to go do some more printing for Regio. This is 30 minutes before my exam. I don't understand why I am so nervous. I feel ready. I just came back from my exam. I had breakfast. Right now, I'm just gonna chill. I'm gonna be moving out Sunday. Um, I'll show you guys a little bit of my move out. I am so tired of talking because I've been talking all morning. I usually study out loud, so this is why this room is empty and I looked for a place that nobody would bother me. I woke up super early today to get ready. My exam is not until 12 and it's 10.30, so I still have an hour and a half. I am so happy that today is already Thursday. I have quite a few things planned regarding homework, so nothing special. just finished my exam i had lunch the exam went i don't even know it was so hard so hard this urban class is like a pain in the ass like i can't i can't deal with this class anymore i'm so over it it's 7 57 and i've just been sitting here it's weird of me to do this but i sit down in my dorm talk to myself and study this is the best way for me to study and that's the only way i've been able to succeed it's weird because most people can't study in their rooms but i'm weird so I don't know. I just like studying my room, talking to myself. Anyway, right now I'm going to start doing the portion of the exam that is due tomorrow, which is like an essay section. <laughs> It's 
a little bit later. I've just been listening to music and just chilling. I had coffee. I finished studying. I did a bunch of other things because I woke up super early for no reason. But right now, I'm going to leave to go to my exam. I'm so excited because this is the last exam I have. I cannot wait to get it over with. But I'm also so excited because I really like the content that we're studying. just came back from having dinner and I went to the gym. I was feeling so overwhelmed and sad before, but now I feel so much better that I went to the gym. I did a bunch of cardio and legs, so I basically killed myself. I'm so tired. I did so much today, and the reason is because I've been so stressed and overwhelmed, and the only thing that kind of like smooths my anxiety is the gym. But right now I'm just gonna chill, watch some Netflix, maybe read a little bit i haven't read my book in a while so i'm gonna just get my book and read before i go to sleep i knew the gym had like this way of getting to me and like making me feel relieved but i didn't know it had that much power and it does at least for me so i'm so happy that i did decide to go at first i was like hesitant to go because i haven't finished my essay and i have to finish it but to be honest it was the best thing it was the best decision that i could have done i feel so ready to crush this essay tomorrow and i did all my exams i'm done with everything my grades are good so i'm good i feel so much better like seriously guys find something that de-stresses you as much as the gym de-stresses me because it's the only way of just getting back on track and getting back to your life because sometimes when there's just too much going on you might just fall off and there's certain things that just put you back on track and for me it's the gym why am i crying right now <laughs> This is way too emotional for me. This is so sad. I literally just moved here. Okay, um, let me see if she got me. Oh, look at the design. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this is so sweet. Oh my gosh. This is heavy. Oh my, she got me like color coordinated like highlighters. Oh my gosh. She knows I'm like the planner kind of girl. She always compliments like how organized and how like structured I am. I'm internally crying. If you guys could feel my heartbeat right now. Even the, the little bag is so me. Look at this, it says to do and it's like a flip kind of notepad. I love it. I absolutely adore it. This is so sweet. Shout out to my roommate. I'm so glad that I got her. I am almost done with my paper. I only have two more pages left to write, which is great. I feel amazing. I feel so good that I'm finally finishing up. Ooh. I thought this was not sparkling, but it is. This is the Fuji Apple Pier. It actually tastes really good. I usually get the one that's like tea. I really needed this. I'm kind of disoriented. I can't believe it's Saturday and it's 4 p.m. What the hell have I been doing with my life since I woke up? I am just gonna drink this and chill for a little. I packed all my food items right here, so all of that is food. This is all like random stuff that I have. I took everything out of here too. I still have a lot of stuff there that I have to take. Today is move out day. I'm so excited. I woke up super late because I stayed up till 5 a.m. yesterday. I don't even know why. I stayed up editing a video. I think I couldn't sleep because I'm excited for summer. And then second of all, I had an energy drink at 5 p.m. I don't have a lot left to pack, so I don't think it's gonna take us that long. But yeah, I'm excited because I'm finally leaving. So we're packing and this is the room. So this is the cart, it's full of stuff. We have three luggages and a bunch of other stuff. The closet is empty, there's nothing here and we're just stacking up stuff. 
I'm obsessed with Dunkin' now. It's a lot better than, than Starbucks. It's not cheaper, but it's not cheaper. My room is all empty. It's so sad. I feel sad. I haven't had food all day. This is it. I am officially out of my room. My side is completely empty. Nothing in there. I'm gonna do a last check just in case. I am officially moved out, so I'm going back home, but I guess this episode is done, so I'm pretty excited to start episode two. It's gonna be so much fun, but yeah, I think this is it for me. I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching and for experiencing all this year with me because I've been through so many ups and downs and it has been a journey. I will be posting a lot more during summer and I'm excited because there's a bunch of things coming up. I hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye!